hello everyone welcome to another video and yes it's finally here how to set up public and private nodes as the network grows and everybody is having a lot of nodes this will help with the bandwidth and in now with the new version 1.3.8 will also help with the cpu usage during the cycle gap so at the end of your setup you should have something like this so how we proceed let's check it out so before we proceed i'm going to show you a little trick that is useful since we're going to be working with the json files and uh, most of you are probably using notepad plus plus so i'm going to close this and uh, i'm going to open notepad plus plus in uh, administration mode now i'm going to go to plugins and plugins administration and i'm going to look for json viewer here we go json view right there and install What this will do is um, check the JSON files syntax for you. So let me see if I have one JSON file here somewhere. Here we go. So open this one. You see how it is minimized. So if I go to plugins, JSON viewer and format JSON, it's going to fix everything for me. Also, if I put a wrong syntax, for example, like that, and then check is gonna tell me there's an error right there pretty cool feature i definitely recommend you guys to use this and with the um, setup with our private and public nodes i'll try to go slow uh, so we don't lose track of what we're doing so i'm gonna start here with the test note because I need my config mainnet JSON. So on the settings, uh, you put normal as you do with your nodes. Uh, my name is set for blah, blah, blah. On the port though, we're gonna use for the private node. So I'm gonna put 11 here and save. This is the only setting we need to be careful here for private nodes. So I'm going to start my node so I can have my config mainnet. Once that's done, I'm going to edit this. So I'm going to use the plugin to sort out my file. Here we go. One thing we're going to need is um, our public node ID. So I'm going to go to my public node here, which is this one. And I'm going to my SM data folder and peer to peer folder. And I find my peer to peer key, which is this one. I'm going to need this for later. So on GitHub, and I will leave the link on the description, you can find the configurations for public and private nodes. We're going to start with the private node. So first, we're going to listen to our public node here. So I'm going to go to my file and use this so this will be my private node port so i'm going to put 6010 no actually i already have 10 so i'm going to put 11 for this one very important feature that a lot of people is missing is disable dht so i'm going to copy this and put in here somewhere as well done Boot notes. 
a normal file will have lots of boot notes. If you're using my script, you won't have them because they're already included in the code. By using these, we're actually going to disable any public boot nodes, so the node will not connect to that. And finally, direct. So this will be our public node. And this will be our public node ID. So I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to put it over there. Also, on Windows, we seem to have a little problem with the IP address. So you need to use the direct IP address to connect to your node. In my case, it's this one. Even though I'm on the same host, you need to use direct IP address. And you also need to change the port for the public node port. In my case, 6000. As per later version, we can also optimize private nodes so they don't have to check ATX um, doing cycle gap, which will make it much better for CPU usage. So for that, we use uh, opt verifying disable true. So we just copy this code over here, and I'm just going to paste over here. Use plugin to check and fix my code, make it pretty. Let me see a comma over here. There we go. And save. So, still on my test folder, I'm gonna need now the private node key, which is this one. And I'm going to edit my config on the public node. Obviously, I already have lots going on here, as you can see. So on the public node, we, we don't actually need this here. Sorry, this is wrong. So we have the same setup. And uh, we have directs and the... Uh, public boot notes. If you use in my script, this is not needed. So what we need is direct here. And I'm going to copy one of these lines here. And put a comma. And paste. Now I'm going to grab the new node ID and pass it here and on the port I'm going to put the port I previous chose which is 11 Okay, I'm just waiting for my public node to restart now, and uh, we're going to check the connection. We should have one peer only in there. This is already present node. For example, I had to set up for all of mine. Uh, after you set up, you go to SM data and peer to peer, and you delete all these cache files. They will be auto-generated with new ones. If you don't delete these, they might try, the node might try to connect to the public uh, bootloaders. We can also look for errors on the public node. In this case, mine is not syncing yet, so I'll need to wait. But uh, if your private node is not connecting for some reason, you'll see a warn and you'll see uh, the IP address and port in here. So this is just an example in case you encounter any errors. We are finally up and running. As you can see, you have my public node here and my new test node with one peer only. Now for SMAP, if you want to put SMAP on private node, it's also 
possible, but we do it different way. So we need to go to app data, room is space, space mesh, and edit node config JSON file. Put this on screen. So as you can see, we don't have many options here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is copy the options from the other side. So our listening port will be number 12 for snap. Uh, this is correct, but we do need to change this. So let's try and get our key. So no data and go over here and that's our key over here. Copy that and let's put it over here. And done. Don't forget to update this on the public node as well. So we need to have on both sides every time. And I think I covered everything, guys. And uh, if you have any questions, just send me a comment or pop in into Space Mesh Discord. I leave all the links behind, and I will also leave an example of this so you guys can check. Thank you for watching, and until next time.